Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike York. Today is Monday and February 3rd. Hope you guys have a great weekend here. Uh, we got a happy Monday here as well. Hope you guys enjoy the morning. We do got a couple items here on the economic calendar. Otherwise, it's a relatively quiet day, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. So we'll just jump right into the economic calendar. We'll start off with the manufacturing data, and the first one will be market manufacturing for the month PMI for the month of January. December ended at 52.4. However, it did dip a little bit down to 51.9. However, this is uh, okay because it's still above the 50 level, and anything above 50 is considered expansion, and below it is contraction. So, speaking as such, as you see on the ISM manufacturing, the second item here for manufacturing, we start off in a uh, contraction period for the month of December at 47.8. Forecast for, was called a little bit of an increase to 48.5, and, and it got jumped to actually surpass that to uh, 50.9 back into expansion territory. So, uh, pretty decent news right there. However, on the construction spending side of things, it looks like they did all their spending in November when it was up 0.7%, but they figured the forecast at 0.6% would continue, and it actually reduced by 2.2% in uh, month of uh, December here. So let's kind of look ahead here to the uh, headline news and stocks are rebounding a little bit from last week's uh, sell-off. We had a pretty big sell-off. I think the Dow was down over 600 on Friday and so far stocks are up on the Dow around 300 so far. And of course the, the news of what we've been hearing for a little while now is this coronavirus. Uh, it's now infected 17,000 people and just over 360 people now have been reported to pass on this. Now, we're still getting some corporate for Q4 corporate earnings. Uh, nothing of note to mention right now. Uh, so we'll just kind of move on to the mortgage-backed security, see how bonds are reacting. Right now, we're down to about 11 base points. As you can see here, we did touch up against this uh, ceiling of resistance, which is a pretty tough one. But right now, we're down to about 11 basis points. So uh, we're going to still say the pricing is going to be about the same. Uh, but we didn't have, uh, you know, uh, so mortgage rates will remain unsafe same as uh, last week, or Friday rather, uh, as we didn't really have any, uh, it's not quite to the level where we need of a drop for a price change. So right now I would say the pricing is going to remain unchanged uh, for mortgage rack rates. And we're rebounding a little bit here as well as we did touch this uh, floor of support and now up to about 1.57 right now on the 10-year treasury. Uh, personally, I think these will be kind of a head fake. Uh, I think we're still not through the coronavirus concerns, and I think right now stocks are just kind of trying to capture some of the loss, uh, capture some of the uh, gains that it made uh, last week. You know, some of the drops, and just kind of cashing in and tr trying to buy low and sell high. But uh, again, uh, I think you're kind of seeing maybe a possible head fake here, and we may see it continue long term. Uh, that we could see stocks continue to decline, which will help out mortgage-backed securities. But for today, on the time being, uh, I think you're getting a little bit of a pullback. And, of course, there's never a straight line to where we want to go. And, uh, again, uh, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, for the meantime, today it's rebounding a little bit uh, in the stock market and uh, mortgage-backed securities. Uh, not a huge reaction, again, because the rates haven't really made any changes, but they're... Uh, I think you'll see some uh, continue to prove that improvement in that area as well. Uh, so that's pretty much the wrap for the day. If you guys are in California looking to buy or refinance, please reach out. Uh, you can read uh, my, my information in the red. Just go ahead and either direct, me, address, direct message me or email me the best way. Uh, if you want the fast response, just go ahead and email. That would be the quick one, and you can get that information right here as well. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys uh, tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.